Ultra Weapon! Oh my god, who still listens to this stuff? Check that mic. Yes, what is going on, Kitty? We are joined by the one and only Miss uh, Jaws here. All right, go away. Go away. What is going on, Mr. Goombastic? Thank you guys for uh, getting your late night whapping as we play and rock some Leisure Suit Larry 3, a text adventure game that uh, is a sequel to Leisure Suit Larry 1 and 2. I didn't do part 2 on stream because part 2 is kind of stupid. I don't like part 2. Um, they kind of take away the aspect of Leisure Suit Larry, what makes it a good game, where he's out looking for Poontang, and makes it a weird-ass just text, point text adventure game, so, eh. We're gonna skip two all together and go straight to part three, because part three is where he goes back and starts looking for some hot poon. You know, the game that makes, that's what makes Leisure Suit Larry a, a, a good game. And we're gonna fire it up, starting with part three. Let's get this shindig started. How's it going? It's going pretty good, man. How's it going with you, bro? Uh, zoom out here for a quick second. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to zoom out here because I want to make sure you guys get the full uh, rated X material here. And in order to do that, we're going to have to do an age question thing. Since we last saw our intrepid here, Larry laughed for converting Marilyn and his newly found true love the sands of... Nooney Toon Beach, this beautiful island has undergone extensive improvements. Going alright, fucking around the Rocket League, I saw the notification, I forgot to check out the real action. Thanks man, appreciate it. Don't let me stop you from getting that shit down though. Once pristine and primitive, covered by virgin rain and forest, splashed by gurgling streams and washed by tropical rains, Newtown has discovered and has- Ah, oh, I didn't read that fast enough. Shit. Villagers eager to shed their stone life, village united themselves by forming the Natives Inc to protect their interests and develop their land. While realizing they were sitting on a yuppie dream, a vein of gold through the tourism, they took corresponding course in business management, public administration, sales, and marketing. Ain't stopping me, Rocket League's a time killer, but I'm always down to watch my peep. Mm -hmm. Learning modern construction techniques through self-help and pirated book of this old house, they began building a hotel on this very beach. There's going to be a lot of talking in here. Borrowing heavily from forward investors, they expanded into some tourist traps. Mm -hmm. 
Damn. They're building up all kinds of shit. The girls really exploded when they discovered the Holy Grail by modern marketing. The wonders of timeshare. <laughs> with your timeshare. I love me some of this leisure suit music. Ah, civilization. You want who would want real palm trees when you have new have never have to prune no, or water. Ah. This is gonna be a challenge to read this. It's going by too quick. Welcome to Paradise of the Pacific, the all new and all improved, totally yuppified, consumer oriented Noontown. Alright, well let's get this shit started then. That was kind of like a backstory, I guess. Welcome to Leisure Suit Larry. Pulse warning: This game contains some material which may seem offensive by other players. If you are offended, you'll be happier playing another game. Ah, oh, fuck that. Oops, I don't want to play dirty games. I'm going to go watch public... <laughs> yes, no, no thank you. 18 to 25. To prove that you are at least 18 years old, just answer these five simple questions. Some of these are easy, some of these are not. The monster's pet dragon was called. Let's see, I'm not sure. I've never watched the monster, so how the fuck am I supposed to know? I think it's Igor, but I don't want to fuck this up, so let's look this shit up. <laughs> There's a lot of questions in here, more than I thought. Monster's pet was spot. See, I was way off. I would have picked Igor and it would have been wrong. <clears throat> Cat Stevens is oh, a songwriter who got religion. Isn't that right? I knew that one without having to look. The, in the show Rawhide, Rowdy Yates was played by... I don't know. Clint Eastwood? I didn't know he was in that. See? The women's suffrage movement was run by... Susan B. Anthony. Two fem sex researchers were Masters and Johnson. You're so bright. Ha, I'm so smart. We cheated so much now. We only needed it for one question, really. Ah, here we go. I think I'm gonna have to up the speed. My, how this island has changed. You remember when you parachuted down here in nothing but a sleepy little native village inhabited by a tribe? Now look, it's overgrown with hotels, casinos, and cheap tourist trap. <laughs> ah, but such is the cost of progress. At least your job as the Vice President of Marketing for Natives Inc. has enabled you to provide a lovely home for you and your beloved wife. To Kalulu. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's make him go faster. And faster. And faster. And faster. Look through Okay. <coughs> Here's your first little taste of nudity. Probably the only nudity in the game, I think. Oh, yeah. Cue the Barry Manilow music. <laughs> now, here's where the questions play uh, <clears throat> a good part in the game. The more you get them wrong, the more she pulls down the shades. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Get naked, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, smack. Do -do -do -do. And you actually get points for that, so. Oh, good God. You wipe the sweat from your hands, you remove your eyes from the binoculars. Damn. Don't get too excited now. Read plaque. Okay. So I have played this game a lot. Let's see how much of this I can actually remember. On this site, the great hero of our people, Larry Laffer, single-handedly saved our island from our moral enemy, the evil. 
So that probably happened in part two, but like I said, I really don't like part two and don't want to waste my time playing it, so we're not going to play it. Cats, man. Crikey fucking cats, man. Just don't want to get along. I don't get it. I've done whatever we could. But they just hate each other. Well, at least the one hates. The older one hates the new kitty. Oh, Kalula, baby, you shout your lover Larry's boy. Your lover boy Larry's home and ready to fuck. Oh, no, you're not, cries a voice from the fence. You don't live here anymore. I found a new lover and filed for divorce by island law. All you need to do is walk in, walk three times and circle around their bed. I've done that many times over the past three years. What? That's weird. What the fuck? I'm getting divorced now? What a bitch. You are stunned. You had no idea anything was wrong. What is going on, man? What the hell? What do you mean divorce? Walk three times? Oh, Kolulu, say it ain't so... It is so, Larry. I'm leaving you and keeping the house. Now, please go and leave us alone. Us? What do you mean, us? Is there someone in the hot tub with you? Who else is there? I'm with Bobby, my new lover. She responds hurtfully. Bobby's able to meet me when he's where you're never able to. You never bore me to sleep. You'll never bore me to sleep again. Damn, she's sleeping with another chick, too? Kalulu, you say, how can you possibly leave me for another man? You idiot. Bobby is a woman. I did, you fool. Bobby's a woman. <clears throat> oh, man. Left you for a chick. Poor Larry. Not only does she no longer love you, she's fallen in love with another woman. What could Kalulu possibly see in an American or an Amazonian Harley riding former cannibal lesbian slot machine repair woman? What? <coughs> Damn. Former cannibal lesbian? That gives new meaning to the definition eating out. <laughs> well, shit, I guess that's it, huh? Is there no sound all of a sudden? Because I don't hear shit. Is there no any sound on your end? No, this can't be. I don't know why there's no sound, though. Yeah, the sound quit a couple minutes ago. Hmm, alright, well, let me save and quit out of here. I'm not sure why that happened. Yep. All right. I can hear you. Yeah, the game, I don't know why, had no sound to it for some reason. Even I I was getting sound. That was weird. Oh, do I got to do this every time now? Oh, hell. Ronald Reagan was a uh, sportscaster, professional football player, governor. Oh, I, did I really pick that? I, I did.
All right, we're gonna try that again because I want to get all these right. The more more right we get, the more naughtier the game is. Jack Benny chauffeur was fuck if I know. Probably underpaid. See, I don't even know who the hell that is. Alright, so I had to look that one up. I don't know who the hell that is. Who threw the, the overalls in Miss Murphy's chowder? See, I would have put laundry. I don't know what the hell that means. You don't have... It's Richard Nixon for show. <clears throat> Candy is dandy, but... Liquor is quicker. <laughs> nice. Abel Hoffman, uh, steal this book. The Wrath of Khan. No, I think that's Star Trek. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right, we have sound back again. What some shit. So last we left off, we got divorced. Recovering from the Catholic or Catholic, uh, whatever her name is, shocking news. I suppose I could go into more than you think, mope around, sit in my room, rent lots of booze, things like that. Can confirm, sweet. Or I could give up women, remain celibate forever, enter the ministry or something. What? Or oh, fuck that, dude. Wake the fuck up. Wait a minute, what am I thinking? No way, not me, not Larry, not Larry Laffer. <laughs> you know this island is a perfect location for a sophisticated single swinger like yours truly. There's got to be plenty of poon running around here. And thanks to the wonderful island tradition that Cthulhu's downer gave me hundreds of acres of potential valuable forest land. Kalulu. That's what I, I don't know why I keep saying Cthulhu. It's not Cthulhu, it's Kalulu. Perhaps my love for Kalulu blinded me to potential of the current loco. Where else could I find more women in a tropical resort? And to think of one came here seeking for just one thing. A good time. And some little bit of dirt. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's it. You, you claim out loud. I've had it with monogamy, marriage, long-term relationships, commitment. So be it. My new life's goal will be to allow as many women as possibly enjoy me while they can. Fuck yeah! Sophisticated swimmer. All that means he gives it, he takes it, he gives it with a glass of champagne. Fucking A, dude. And then breaks the glass. <clears throat> Look out, girls. Just when you thought it was safe to dive back into Gene Pool, the original swinger is back at it again. Larry fucking Laffer. Now let's go get some poon. But first, let's go back here and do a couple of things. Like grab this wood. Get wood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you take the beautiful chunk of Grandilla wood from beneath you. Is this where... Uh, I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, yep. Yeah take that back check this mailbox here look in mailbox well well look at this it's an envelope from your credit card company get that card hell yeah and also means all the hurry is I'm afraid to fuck a man's wife hell no man he's just in it for poon he don't give a damn <clears throat> Eagerly open the, the envelope from the mailbox. Could this be the big break from Ed McMahon you've been hoping for? Say, it's an answer from that credit card company whose application you mailed only 15 weeks ago. Rip it open, you discover your new credit card. And look, it's in your name only. Kalulu can't claim this as community property. Bitch. That's my credit card. Now watch what I do with it here in a second. He probably first married, probably more experienced. 
Down this past leisure office, say, what about that cute little redhead in the county? You've always wanted a challenge, a chance to balance her figures. Damn Skippy. Let's go check her figures out. This is, oh shit, I missed it. Now let's go check out the job situation here. Good morning, Dave, you tell the guard. Another day, another dollar, eh? Perhaps so, Larry. Dave replies, but then again, perhaps not. Chairman Kenneth wants to report to you his office immediately. Oh, snap. Oh, man, not at all. At least not necessarily. That just means he's looking for ladies that are willing to fuck a dude and Paul has to jump him because they're not her husband. Good point. Okay, David, you respond. But to yourself, you think, don't worry, it's probably nothing. I bet he just wants to compliment me on my, bit, my uh, last big ad campaign. Good morning, Mr. Laffer, the chairman growls. It's so nice of you to fit a little bit of time into your busy day to drop by and see us native here, Inc. Have a seat. Anywhere but on my couch, he concludes. W wait, what the fuck? Alright, what dick. Oops, so I'll sit here on your fucking rug. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Perhaps you're wondering why I summoned you here, Laffer begins Ken. It has nothing to do with your recent ad campaign of yours, although it, by its appearance you didn't have a hell of a lot to do with it all by yourself. Oops, this isn't going that well, is it, Larry? Since you're no longer married my daughter and your marketing skills are non-existent, I cannot think of one reason to keep you here. In fact, I've been waiting to do this for quite a while and I know just the perfect way to handle the situation. Do it like Peter Griffin. Eh. How he looks you in the eye when he gets... How you hate it when he gets that look in his eye. Perhaps I should introduce you to a favorite hobby of mine. <laughs> Son of a bitch, yells Chairman Kenneth. Another 7-10 split. Davy boy, marks Kenneth. Load up the RAM disc. I'm going to take that laptop out for a spin today. Well, well, Larry, it seems your ad campaign wasn't the only thing Chairman, Cha Chairman, Kem uh, Chairman Kenneth didn't appreciate. Fuck. Oh well, you lived your wits off once. You can do it again. So I got fucking dumped by my wife. Fired. Take You shake the haze from your brain, slowly rise to your feet and stumble groggily outside. What the hell? This is not going well. Mm -hmm. That was humiliating, Larry. You vowed to never work for him again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to have that chance to. Ooh, what do we have here? What in the hell are you talking about? Look. What the fuck? There is a beautiful topless woman lying sunbathing on her towel. There is something moving in the sand. Souvenirs! Souvenirs! Get your genuine Noontown souvenirs! There's ex-wife is a dude's sister. You got fired because of nepotism. Ain't that a bitch? Fuck yeah, it is. Kicks you right in the balls. Oh, wow, exclaims Tawny. Souvenirs. What you selling? She asks the peddler. Genuine plastic souvenirs handmade in the city of... Okay. What was that to ask the girl? Mm, Hong Kong, the venom mumbles underneath his breath. Yeah, I'm so sure. Oh, no matter. As long as it's genuine, give me several. You never know when I might get back this way, and I just love buying souvenirs. Altogether, that comes to the peddler pausing, considering what the market will bear. $300 American, and I'll cover the taxes for you. Damn! <coughs> really? It's that expensive? Okay, well, if you say so. Dumb blonde. Hey, thanks a lot, says the vendor. Have a nice day. I just ripped you off, of course. Man, look at that fucking... Mm. All right, let's see what we can get here. <sighs> souvenirs, come on, man. Get your genuine noontown souvenirs. Oh, wow, exclaims Tony. What you selling? Special souvenir seashells mounted on a free swinging necklace made of real noontown string. It's been five minutes. All right, I don't want to save my game every five minutes. Seashells? 
I'll see seashells at the slimy seashore. Exactly how many shells differ from the ones lying all over the Sophoma beach. They are no longer contaminated with all the crude oil sewage mixture we call ocean water. Oh well, that's better than a few. She said, here's 50 bucks. Can I get lots? 50 bucks. Here, have a bag full. Have a nice day. 50 bucks for a bag of goddamn seashells. There's probably nothing you could do this game. What? I don't know what her fucking name is. Before, before looking, it is advisable to look at her. Okay. You these guys keep interrupting, like cock blocking. It's your souvenir, souvenirs. Oh wow, Tony, that's what I wanted. That's what her name is. What you selling? Today we have a very special one of souvenir. Yeah, yeah. I just love Julie. Will you allow me to purchase some? Sure, if you're nice to me and give me lots of American money. Fuck. Okay, here. That's all I've got. Boy, this guy will buy anything. Hey, thanks a lot, says the vendor. Why don't you keep this 20? You might need it. Have a nice day. Damn, is there anything she won't buy? Can we, uh, like, do this now? Hello, you say, the beautiful young girl on the towel. My name's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? I like how he does it like James Bond. Hello, Larry, replies the blind. My name's Tawny. Damn! Wow, she looks even better vertical. <laughs> Bet she has, but she has a great horizontal hold. <laughs> Let's hope we find out. Uh, what a gorgeous woman with obviously nothing to hide. You, for, you suddenly forget about Kalulu completely. You could learn to enjoy a single life once again. Before you look at her, you should look straight in her eyes. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. Man, those were some great graphics back then. <clears throat> what the hell are you talking about? Zoink, side boob. How controversial. <laughs> hey, have you been to that new downtown noon? Noon Tune Mall? Mm -mm -mm. No, but if I ever find it, I bet I could spend my whole vacation there. What would it take for you to date an, um, an older guy like me? Mm -mm. There, I guess I'm just a material girl. Oh, really? Okay, so... Let's just fuck up my whole life and give her my credit card, because, you know, why not? That's probably something you could do. This game won't. Okay, give. What? Here, Tony, you say. I see how you enjoy shopping. I'd like you to have my credit card. Don't! Oh! What am I doing? Man, I just fucked up my whole life. Oh, Larry Christ, Tony, it's a perfect gift, the right size, the right shape, the right color, gold. I think I know the perfect way to express my appreciation, too, you big boy. Mmm. Oh, snap, let's get it on. Let's get it on! Mm, 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 mm. Souvenirs! Oh, man, cock blocked by the fucking souvenir vendor. More souvenirs. Oh, wow, souvenirs. Come on. I have some fine Ginsu knives. Excuse me for a moment. Something else has popped up. You, some of them. Well, you think to yourself, that was rude. So what do you think? Would you like to take one of these fine Ginsu knives to take for a special souvenir? For you, I make a special deal. Oh, Tony, it's just right bargain. I just love bargains. Most surely so, it's a hand, it's made from a hand rubber, hickory handles, and a blade of the finest carbon steel drawn from the hottest 100-year-old oak cart, charcoal fires. 
Honed to perfection by small oriental virgins, <laughs> guaranteed for life. God damn. Or until you leave this beach, whichever comes first. I'll take it. Does it come in a carrying case? No, says a peddler. But I bet you could. That'll be thirty dollars. Mm -mm -mm. Well, let me see now. Oh gosh, I only have twenty bucks cash left. Wait, I do have this shiny new card. Hey, hold this knife for me, will you? Mm -mm -mm. Thanks so much, madame, says the native, sliding their improper imprinter over the former card. It's a pleasure doing business with a real pro. Oh, turning back to you. I'm sorry to interrupt my little shopper whopper, but you know, I can't resist the purchase. Where were we? We were trying to get it on. You, you pause to contemplate her rude behavior. Were you too offended by her thoughtless interruption to continue lovemaking? To the beautiful young Tawny? Fuck no. Nope. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Suddenly, you become aware of hundreds of tiny sand crabs that can crawl inside your leisure suit since you first laid down in the sand. Oh, yow! You yell, "Get off me, quick!" Is my love making neck too good for you, my middle-aged mall man? Says Tawny. <laughs> He's doing a happy dance. Son of a bitch, Tony. I've got a terrible case of crabs. Crabs, I should have known better to have local to have anything to do with a local, especially an older local, and a pudgy older local at that. Damn. As you pull a large crab from your pants, Tony says, like men, I refuse to party with any of you, so social irresponsibly. Get lost, Flamingo Domingo. What the fuck? Tony baby, does this mean we're through? There's no response. Wah, wah, wah. I don't have my soundboard open because unfortunately I have uh, to use the arrow keys here to move, so... Had to shut it down. Alright, let's, uh, let's go rub this fucking knife on these steps here. I'm pretty sure it's a dull one, isn't it? Let's take a look at my inventory. Ginsu knife. Rub. Uh, knife on steps. Okay. All good, but damn, sucks for him. Yeah, it does. Poor dude. Fucking can't hit those crabs, man. You gotta take care of your shit. So yeah, he starts rubbing his little dull ass knife on the steps. Mm -mm. Much to your surprise, it comes razor sharp. Without thinking, you hastily shove it back into your pocket. Ow! Dummy. Alright, let's go put that knife to good use. Mm -mm. No, I don't think I want to go there just yet. Some of it's trying to. Some of these uh, areas are really hard to figure out where you're supposed to go and how to get through them. There's so many different areas you can get to from just one screen, depending on how you move about that screen. I don't know if that makes any sense. Cut grass. Tough tropical grass slices through your blades, through your hands to ribbons, but you refuse to budge. If only you had a way to cut it. Use knife to cut grass. Okay. Your sharp Ginsu knife slices through the blades like hot samurai sore through a tub of cheap margarine. <laughs> so descriptive. Congratulations, you are now the new proud owner of long blades of grass. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Can I sit and watch this? I know this is kind of boring. This might take a few minutes, but you actually get a lot of points for doing this. So I guess let's just do it. Do -do -do. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Comedy Head is proud to present a legend in his own mind, Paul Paul. He looks like the dude from uh, Full House. Not Bob Saget, the other guy. I can't think of his name. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, says Paul, the snappy starter. <clears throat> okay, folks, we're going to try something a little different here. Tell me the names of your three favorite unethic groups. Doesn't matter what you get to choose. I got enough jokes to insult everybody. Ethnic group one. <sighs> you know what? This is going to get me into trouble, so let's just not... Uh, let's just go... Uh, let's go with animals. Ethnic group two. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> A man complained to his doctor. Doc, my wife just lost interest in sex. The doctor replied, Say no more, friend. I got just what you need. You slip her one of these pills and stand back. That night, as a man dropped a couple pills in his wife's glass of wine, he thought, These pills are so great, I should take a couple myself. But nothing happened. The evening passed uneventfully, they both went to bed. Then, about one o'clock, his wife suddenly sat up and said, I want a man. <clears throat> and the man woke up and said, Me too. <laughs> I think you might have been thinking of David Coulier. Yep, that's what it is. <clears throat> Once when I was a teenager, I stopped at the drugstore to purchase some of those unnecessary supplies. I told the farmers, better give me a dozen. I have a hot date tonight with a school tramp. When I got to her house, her mother insisted I join them for dinner. I offered to pay, say grace. I prayed and prayed and prayed. When I finished the date, leaned over and said, why, Paul? I had no idea you are so religious. I replied, I had no idea your father was a pharmacist. Ha <laughs> ha! Good shit. <laughs> Did you know the most dangerous job in Cal's neighborhood? Riding shotgun in a garbage truck. <sighs> this is why I wanted to do something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Once the Cal's football team played the horses football team, at the end, three quarters of the score was tied, but nothing to nothing. But just then a train went by, the Cal's team heard the whistle, thought the game was over, and went home. Six days later, the horses team scored. Hmm. It's the rice. Okay. A chicken's woman was on her way from the home market, was carrying a duck when drunk staggered in and said, Hey, did you get the pig? The chicken's woman replied, You drunk a fool? That's no pig. It's a duck. Once, and the duck said, Quiet, chickens. I was talking to the duck. Stupid. These three guys are standing together on Desert Island. The cow, the cow guys find a lead lamp buried in the sand. He says, I wish I was home, and poof, he vanishes into midair. Well, the chicken's man grabs the lamp and says, I wish I were home too. Poof, he vanishes, leaving the horse and man holding the lamp. The horse guy says, Gee, I'm lonely here. I wish a man hadn't left. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Have you tried the new Jewish Japanese restaurant yet? It's called Susunami. <laughs> Oh, these are bad. Butumps, <laughs> yeah, for real. A young lumberjack had a terrible accident with his chainsaw and went to the doctor's office for stitch. The doctor began to apply some anesthetic to the lumberjack. Just laughed. Doc, I won't be needing any painkillers for a little, wound, a little wound like this. The doctor replied, "Son, this is gonna hurt a lot. Are you sure?" Of course I'm sure, he said. Why, my entire life I only felt pain twice. Once when I squatted down or leave myself in the woods. I got my testicles caught in a bear trap. Doc replied, my god, that's terrible. When was the second time? When I reached the end of that chain. <sighs> Why did the horse pervert cross the road? Because he was stuck to the back of the chicken. Uh, do we really have to sit? I almost want to just back out of this, man. You know who won the horse's beauty pageant? No one. Okay. My wife bought us a new waterbed. I call it the Dead Sea. <laughs> That's funny. The cow's man was talking with the chicken's man. I'm so unlucky the chicken's man asked, Really? Why do you say that? Why? Just last night that beautiful hunchback girl stood up and stood me up. And then after I bought her flowers, dug the hole in everything. Psh. Why did the chicken cross the basketball court? 
He heard the referee was blowing fouls. Oh, that's stupid. <clears throat> you know why horses stadiums have artificial grass to keep the cheerleaders from <laughs> raising during halftime? All right, this is just stupid. I just want to back out now. Do you know how to recognize Bride's Cow at a wedding? She's the one with the, the braided armpit hair. Okay. Oof. Do you know where a chicken's family hides its money? Under the soap. Damn. Do you know what the chicken's call guy has been stealing all those police cars recently? They saw 911 and they thought they were Porsches. Did you hear the chicken man who was so lazy he married a pregnant woman? Damn, that's fucked up. Do you know how to break a horse's man's finger? Punch him in the nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about the unlucky chicken guy who filed a divorce because of a two-story house? One story I'm not in the mood and the other story was I've got a headache. You are. I'll tell you the one about the guys who were messing around with the sister-in-law. He really had it in for his brother. Oh, this is stupid. <sighs> what is two hours of begging? Horses for play. What's the difference between two terrorists and two chickens women with PMS? You can negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> How do you sink a cow's battleship? Put it in the water. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of this now. I'm gonna lose my voice just by the stupid jokes. That's it. Come on. You know what the worst thing about being an atheist? You have no one to talk to when you're having an orgasm. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty good. Do you know how to recognize a horse's virgin? She's the one that can run faster than her brothers. Pfft. You know, you could replace cow chicken with pig with some racist shit and these jokes would unfortunately make a lot more sense. Yeah, they would. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, I don't know. I didn't want to think that that would just kind of get me into too much trouble in these day and ages. Why you gotta have so much racist jokes in here, man? You know how to get 25 chickens guy in a phone booth? Throw in a dollar. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm just tired of these now. I just wanna go. Mm -mm -mm. This does eventually end, I believe. I can't wait to play the other layer where I don't have to talk so much. They actually have voice acting and everything in the later ones. Oh, it just goes on and on. My wife is so ugly, a peeping Tom would throw up in her window pledge. That's stupid as fuck. <clears throat> There we go. Holy shit. Hey, you says the comedy. You don't like my material, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, Paul. Look, he's get he's getting a sitting ovation. <laughs> the world famous comedy has filled with people having a mildly up worst time. Just say what you want to say. Hi, Al. Hey, I've got an idea. How about if you and I sit in a comedy club and we will make Larry walk up to us and say something like, Hi, Al. These two are like the creators of the game, by the way. Hi, Al, says Bill. No, are you crazy? No way. That's so lame. Larry would never say that. Yeah, I suppose you're right, says Al. This is not a good idea. Let's get out of here. Hi, Al, really? <laughs> yeah, those are the creators of the game, though. Al Lowe, famous. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we got that comedy club BS out the way. 
Let me take a look at my inventory. Let's go make some money real quick. Boy, this guy walks kind of slow for my liking. The casino is changing cabana, which bears an assembly resemblance to an outhouse that is nestled in a grove of trees. Hmm. I see a soap. Let's take the soap. You grab an, unlu an unusually shaped soap on a rope that hangs above the sink. Hmm. How about we take a nice drink? Glub, glub, glub. Refresh, rehydrate. And you actually get points for that. Alright, let's go ahead and weave that grass. Make me a nice little uh, primitive island suit. Be careful to weave the wild grass, which you hope will pass for a primitive island native outfit. I like his beard there. <laughs> Take clothes off. You remove your leisure suit and hide it in a stall while slipping into a grass skirt. Boy, you look like a native now. Carve wood with... Knife. We're gonna cut this wood up into some hot decoration. See if we can sell it. Carefully use your razor sharp ginsu knife to carefully carve the precious wood into what you hope will be acceptable primitive island native sculpture. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Now let's go sell it. Oh, look at that pudgy belly of his. We're gonna have to fix that later. Hey, baby, we're back. Souvenirs. Souvenirs! Get your gentleman noontime souvenir! Oh wow, Tawny! Souvenirs! What you selling? Asked the peddler. She asked the peddler. That's me! Genuine native islander design labeled erotic carvings for only $20, you crave. But you better hurry, I only have one left. Well, Tawny says, I might be interested. Does it have any special features? You just. <laughs> that guy seems to be working, Larry. She doesn't recognize you. Fucking A with these auto saves. Alright, let's go ahead and save. I'm glad you asked. There's one small part you might attract your eye. <laughs> of course. Of course he had to shape it like that. I swear to God, that's the sculpture you've been trying to sell to give away. It looks like a rabbit dildo. <laughs> well, that's exactly what it is. It's a big, fat, uh, yeah, black, big, black uh, piece of wood. Son of a bitch, it's a deal, she says. But I don't know about art, but I know what I like. Of course you would. You're lucky I'm down to my last 20 bucks. Here you are. Thank you, miss. I'll put it to good health. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Take skirt off. Put that shit back on. You have no use for this silly skirt. You toss it through the hole conveniently placed in the floor. You presume is this for this purpose. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Plug the hole up, why don't you? Mm -mm. Looking trash. Looking trash. Believing yourself to be playing a previous Leisure Suit Larry game, you dig through the garbage... And they can't only discover a postcard saying the weather was here, wish you were beautiful. You return it to the trash. The weather is here, wish you were beautiful. That's funny. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up, but it's funny. Alright, we got a fat sack of money. Let's go check this shit out. Actually, before we do that, I might have to go look at a paper real quick. I think. And that one is pretty funny. Yeah, I like that one. 
Wish you were beautiful. It's kind of fucked up, man. See, this is what I'm talking about. From this screen right here, I go to my house. But if I come down just a little bit lower and go over here on the other side of these trees, now you're somewhere completely different. What an interesting park. A lovely television sits beneath an attractive hanging lamp from a park bench, all situated near a gurgling stream. Let's take this newspaper. Okay. <coughs> I don't know if that's supposed something's supposed to happen here, I thought. I guess that's it. Okay. The hell you say? <laughs> Does he stop on his own? I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on here. What an interesting part. Uh, I said stop reading. Hmm, I can't take it with me? Maybe you do something with the screen now? Uh, it's possible. Let me go turn the TV on, maybe? I thought you were supposed to get some kind of idea about a show in the casino. Whew, man, I'm gonna have to get that my little fan, man. I'm sweating my balls off. Sit, okay. Feel like there's no sound again, or maybe it's supposed to be quiet in here. Stand up. Hmm. You don't need it. Get newspaper. You don't need to type the word newspaper to complete this game. Okay. Hmm. Well, we turn the TV on. That's, I don't know what it's supposed to do. I guess we'll just try to go into the casino and see what happens. At least we didn't lose sound, though. That's one thing I was worried about. Mm -mm. I dig the music here. Look, if I remember right, you get points for looking in the mirror here. Look in mirror. If I could spell it right. You back, uh, oh, it's reversed. You see yourself looking back. Clever. I like it. Talk to man. Hello, sir, you say. My name is Larry, Larry Laffer. Can you give me information about the show? The matri responds, if you'd like to see the show, you'll have to have a ticket. Of course, some of the Loot Tour magazines can say free tests. If you have no ticket, you might try to find one of those. Let's 
Excuse me, sir, but I'd like to see tonight's show. I have my copy of Noontime Tonight right here. How did I get that? I don't remember that, but okay. Oh, really? Well, for tonight's show, I'm only allowed to accept free passes from our ad on page 11. What is the number of the pass of the page on? Uh, my pass number is 420. I hope. I don't know what that's supposed to be because I don't have the manual for this. Let me look at the number. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but that's not the right number. What? Next time, you better have a copy new time before playing the game tonight. Ha! Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look that up, I guess. Because I don't have a manual. You have to have a manual that came with the game. That sucks. I haven't saved one in a while, I don't think. Actually, we did. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, we've already seen this. We can skip this part. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, there's so many dudes here all of a sudden. Take skirt off. You could always take a minute and look that up on the net if it wasn't a newspaper. Yeah, it's not in the newspaper. You're supposed to have a book. It's kind of like copy protection reasons. What the fuck is this? Whoa. Whoa, says Bill. Take a look at that bikini. Open the door a little bit, will you, Bill? Responds. <laughs> hey, baby, where are you going? Damn. Where's her clothes? At? I want to smell them panties. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's fucked up. You made the word snow. You may know the word stall, but it's not in Al Lowe's vocabulary. Ah, <sighs> whatever. the hell are you talking about? Ah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's take a look in a minute here and see if I can find this info. Because I don't want to die again. Hope it's not the same. Hope it's the same thing. It's not like different. I hope not. It is going to be this. That sucks. So I can't really YouTube it because it's different every time. I'm pretty sure. Let's go check it out. Before I'm going to save my game, though, to make sure we don't fuck this up. Spelled mirror again the wrong way. The same exact way I did last time, too. That's pretty sad. It shouldn't be a set number, but usually these things are looking for sequence. I think what it is is uh, there's a bunch of numbers in the book, and it gives you a random page to look up. So, like, the one I just did earlier, I think, was page 7. This YouTube video I just watched is page 3. I'll go ahead and save my game. See what this guy has to say now. T 
talk to him. Talk. To that fucking guy, dude. Hello, sir. I got to talk. I guess type talk to guys what I had to type. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Can you give me information about the show? Give him ticket. Why was that not a sentence? I guess I just type ticket. Give ticket. Okay. Excuse me, sir, but I have my copy of noontime tonight here. I ah, see now it's asked for page 10, so that's shitty. Yeah, it's manual protection. Let's see, part 10. Wait a minute, I don't see one for 10. Page ticket number. <sighs> this one doesn't say page ten. I don't. I don't get it. Gives me page three, five, six, nine, eleven, twelve. What the fuck? That's stupid. Is this page ten right here? Three three seven nine, f three three seven nine four maybe. Three three seven nine four. Let me look through that list. I'm sorry, sir, but that's not the right number. Next time, okay. That sucks. Let's see if that helps you. <clears throat> That's some bullshit, man. Well, it's gonna be the same thing every time. Okay. On page three. All right, we have page three right here, zero, zero, seven, four, one. Zero, zero, seven, four, one. Let me look through that numbers, da, 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 da. Well, well, all right. Thank God, stupid shit. Well, well, sir. But I must make a It appears there are no more skis available for the show. I'm so sorry, but perhaps something will open up later. Man, my, I can't spell for shit. Well, I thank you so very much, sir. Well, well, look at this. I seem to find a nice front row seat available here. Allow me to join you. Allow you to show you to your seat. Nice. Let me make sure, uh, let me know if the fan is not being picked up by the microphone, too. I do have a box fan, or a little small fan underneath me. I want to make sure it's not going through. <clears throat> so let me know if you hear that, and I will shut it off or move it. You quickly make your way through a crowd of men, and you take one of the few remaining seats near the rear of the showroom. <laughs> Boobs! Fucking boobs! I don't think there's anything you can do here. You just sit and wait. Have to watch the whole show. No, I don't really hear any fan. Sweet, nice. I know this morning when I was doing my stream for Mega Man, I had the stream going on in the background. Or the fan going on in the background. I could hear that. 
The announcer's voice booms over the public address system. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. The star of our show, Miss Cherry Tart. Mmm, I like that name. Oh, shit. Shake it, baby. You want to dance? Mm -hmm. Eventually, the men in the audience like Cherry's act as they begin to throw money. She needs more money. Throw all her money. Throw all your money to her. Isn't she wonderful, ladies? Isn't she wonderful, ladies and gentlemen? Screams the announcer. Let's hear it for our own little Miss Cherry Tart. Got to go backstage and meet this chick. That concludes tonight's two-hour spectacular noon tune for you. You must clear the auditorium now as our second show begins immediately. Good seats are still available, so tell your friends. You conclude with <clears throat> he concludes with a tray. Good night and walk safely to your home. What a show, huh, Larry? Mm. Too bad you came in late. You missed. You only saw the last minute. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What a show, huh, buddy? And how about that Miss Cherry Tart? Mm. Let's go taste her tart. As you begin to knock, you hear something backstage. You would, but it's locked. You hear some backstage. Huh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right here. I thought I was supposed to be able to talk, talk to her. No one is interested in hearing you talk to you. What the hell? Unlock door. Unlock the door! You have no key to this door. Have you tried knocking? I did try knocking. As you begin to knock, you hear something backstage. Maybe I have to leave the screen and come back. Oh, okay. Huh. Makes sense. Mm -mm. That says it doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't appear a proper sentence. It's not. That's because I can't type for shit. What the hell are you talking about? Okay. Hello, beautiful. I love your dancing, you say the gorgeous woman in the dressing room. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Hello yourself, Larry replies the bathrobe beauty turned to face you. I'm Cherry. Cherry Tart. <whistles> nice. We got a bang, too, aren't we? You are talking with Cherry Tart, the headline dancer casino showroom. Look at boobs. Perhaps you'll see more of two or later, you think to yourself. Mm. Oh, Larry, stop looking at me there. <laughs> what in the hell are you talking about? Just say what you wish. So, Cherry, tell me what you want to do with your life. There we go. I'd love to quit the show, but let's get a little farmland and place out in the country where I could be alone, raise organically grown vegetables, fruits, and herbs. You know, I have some land coming from a recent cough <coughs> legal development I really have no use for. Would you like a few acres? Man, this guy is just going to give up fucking properly just for some poon. Do I? Why, Larry, I'd do anything for a piece of land. I must run now. I must get ready for my next show. Mm -mm 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 
I certainly enjoy our little chat together. I look forward to looking to hear from you again soon. Now, if you pardon me, I must head backstage. Our show manager has such a short fuse for a guy with a short, sour de deposition. When you get the deed to the land, just knock on the door over. Just knock that door. On that door. Bah. Just knock on that door over there. I'll be waiting near the door. Till then. Larry is a cockold. Hell yeah, man. He just does anything for the nookie. Oh, Larry. Cherry cries. I could take. I can just picture my little country place now. You know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. <clears throat> With all these fucking dialogue and shit, having to repeat this stuff. I'm getting tongue twisted here. That's why I can't wait to play like part five and six or six and. I think we might skip five. I don't know about part five. I don't even know if I have part five. Um, but definitely we'll be looking into part six and seven. Those are two I'm gonna play. Part four doesn't exist. There was never a part four ever. They just skipped it completely as a joke. Part five is not very good either. I mean, it's not bad, but definitely not one of my favorites. But I love six and seven. Those are two of my favorite ones. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, let's go talk to a bunch of lawyers to get about some land so that we can get some poon. Is there a lawyer available to help me? You ask the clerk. Yes, we have someone available. What specifically would you like, sir? We have all sorts of attorneys here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ask about deed. Excuse me, you say interrupting. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. I'd like to talk to one of your agents about a real estate age or real estate office ownership transfer. Is there anyone available to help me? Good day, Mr. Laffer. Certainly. Dewey Cheatham and Howe is the right place for your legal needs. Dewey Cheatham and Howe. Get it? At this time, though, Mr. Howe was taking depositions in court at the court hut and Mr. Dewey is tied up in court. However, Mrs. Cheatham is readily available. Just walk through the door immediately behind me. I'll tell her you're here. Nice. I was doing this automatically. Good day, Mr. Laffer. I'm Susie Cheatham. How can I help you? Please have a seat on your home. Please have a, make yourself at home. Please have a seat on my couch. My hot couch. Oh, yeah, she is. I guess I'll sit on the couch. Misses. <laughs> oh. Ask about D. You have to type in everything in this one. Mrs. Cheatham, allow me to come right to the point. My wife, Kalulu, left me a wonderful woman and brought up to our marriage a considerable downery consisting of no load mutual funds and some extensive real estate holdings i was wondering if there's any way for me to get my hands on that land i've heard of some ancient island tradition concerning men and real property say no more mr laffer i know what you mean according to some ancient custom any land owned by either you or your spouses upon dissolution of the marriage becomes exclusive property of the male holder of the household that's a cool law Congratulations, Mr. Laffer. You're now the owner of a considerable chunk of noon tune or non tune real estate. I'll make the necessary arrangements and have Roger, my secretary, boilerplate the paper source for you. Sweet. Well, good day to you. So tomorrow's Turbo Tuesday will not take place unless uh, I do it when I get home from uh, late at night from visiting folks in Lakeland. I can't type talk to him, but talk to guy is just that works. Hi Roger, you greet the clerk. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Laffer. I better know why you're here. Damn right. You know why I'm here, but I still have to ask you for it, huh? Is that deed ready yet? 
Absolutely, Mr. Lapper, here it is. But you know that land is so isolated from the main torso that you never be able to sell it to the developers. Nothing but a worthless forest land. No one could build a tourist trap there. Eh, that's cool. I'm just doing it for some hot poon. I don't care about a tourist trap. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this all for the nookie. What? The nookie. What? So you can take the cookie. Great. DMCA. Just got copyright strike. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Let's go get a tan real quick. God, I need this. Okay, use a towel, get a nice little tan, get butt naked. Ooh, uh, get nice and crispy. Whoa, 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 that's too much. We don't need that snake there, do we? Tropical sun warms your body. <sighs> of course. You know, I can get a nice suntan here. Maybe not tourist trap, but it's perfect for your old girl's farm. Hell yeah. Farm me some poon. I think we should uh, probably save, too. Boy, man. Couldn't even type that. Uh. Yeah, pop us some cherry tart. Let's do it. What time is it here? 210. Continue a little bit further, I think, and call it quits for one night. It's the part one of Leisure Suit Larry, part three, looking for love. Passionate Patty in the pursuit of the pulsating pectorials. It's a hell of a title. That is the official name for this. Passionate Patty and, and the pul or pulser. Uh, I don't remember what it's called now. Fuck. Knock on door. In the pursuit of the pulsating pectorials. There we go. Daring to defy the authorized person only on the stage softly, you knock. One, two, three times. You hope Cherry's true to her word. A small voice whispers through the door. Larry? Is that you? Damn right. Mm -mm -mm. You think to yourself, thank heavens, it's Cherry. You whisper through the door, yes, Cherry, it's me, Larry, Larry Laffer. Pursue the pulsating pictorial. There we go, thank I could not figure out for the life of me how to say that. <clears throat> or how to say it, I remember what the hole was called. Oh, Larry, I've been waiting for your return. Did you get the deed? Goddamn right we did. Got it right here, sweetheart, you spawn, I think. You know just how much I'd like to get it to you. This is your big chance now to get the show business and move in your own little place out in the country. Oh, Larry, 640 acres of Virginia in Newtown Way for us, perfectly suited for a slashing, burning, typical agriculture privilege. <laughs> pillage. You just made me the happiest woman on earth. Now come backstage and allow me to properly express my appreciation. Mmm. <laughs> you chuckle. It looks like I'm going to get a little sun for Kalulu's worthless farmland after all. Mmm. Larry, you're so wonderful. You've given me what I've always wanted. You know what I've always wanted. I think you know what I've always wanted, baby. Yeah, Cherry smiles at you in the dark. At least I'll be able to remove this costume and never to wear it again. <laughs> oh, baby, here we go. The bitch is going to snatch it through the door. No, she's going to give it up. What are you, Larry Modest? Hurry up, Larry. The second show is about to start. Yeah, what are you doing, man? Get naked. You consider you carefully consider her offer, but not for too long. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> oh, Larry, cries Cherry. Don't you just love the real estate business? Yeah, I think you can get in this whole real estate business. Damn. <laughs> 
ride him. Ride him, cowboy. Oh, Larry, I can go on like this all night. Too bad he can't. You're the only one. <laughs> Who turned the lights out? Whoa, 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 what the hell's going on? What's that drum roll? Oh, no, quick, Larry, get dressed. The second show is starting. Oh, shit. You both scramble to find, sort, and wear whatever articles of clothing you can. Jeez, it's dark, Cherry. You shout, I can't tell what's going on. The public addresses the system booms. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Non-Tune for You, our spectacular tribute to the thing we all love the most. Where's my pants? The announcers boom voice over the address system. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the start of our show, Miss Cherry Tart. Son of a bitch! Oh, you scream. People, hundred, people, hundreds and hundreds of people, every one of them staring at me. You're caught, Larry, and red-handed, and you're wearing Cherry's costume, too. Ladies and gentlemen, start our show. Miss Cherry Tart, you hurry back to the stage. You must have grabbed the wrong clothes. That's why your underwear was such a tight fit. <laughs> nice thong, buddy. Our show with Cherry Tart. Cherry, Cherry, you walk to the beginning of the runway. Guess you have no choice but to shake it, baby. Oh, Larry, what have you done? You've done it again. What are you going to do? You are mortified. How you wish you had paid some more attention when your mother enrolled you in that preschool ballet and gymnastics class. Dance, okay. Summoning all your courage, you begin to wiggle your way down the runway. Uh, I don't want to see this. No! The audience must also appreciate your talents as they begin to throw bills. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Look, Larry, they're throwing real money at you. They really like you. They really like you. Shake it, baby. You want to dance? Time passes. More money froze. More money gets tossed my direction. Nice. Time in which you dance and dance. Meanwhile, picking up many $1 bills. You dance until your legs just can't take it any longer. Which really isn't that long considering you're wearing a pair of high heels three sizes too small. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The metric it. You seem to have been a big hit with that audience. $500? Ain't bad for your first night. Damn. You think, just imagine, I got to have all that fun and make money too. Why, that was even better than being a programmer for Sierra Online. Damn. There he's getting paid and getting paid. There he's getting laid and getting paid. Hell yeah, man. That's the life right there. Getting laid and getting paid. So we're going to walk around in this nice little suit for a second. And there's a reason why. This is going to turn on some hot little chick here. She's into that type of thing. Freak! Roger, I'd like to get this divorce business all straightened out. When can I meet with Miss Cheatham again, you ask? You've already had your one on free consultation, Larry. Susie will be happy to meet with you again. But to complete your legal agreements, you must pay me your $500 fee. <sighs> there goes all my hard earned money. Here's $500, Miss Cheatham requested. Can you tell me that you tell the reception? May I meet with my uh, lawyer to finalize my divorce now? Why, certainly, Mr. Laffer. Walk right in. Miss Cheatham will be happy to talk with you now. I gotta start doing these uh, like guys and voices make it more interesting, you know? By the way, nice outfit, Mr. Laffer. <laughs> Except the females. I don't want to do a female voice. I'm back, Miss Cheatham. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one anyway. I'm back, Miss Cheatham, you say. I'd like my divorce papers. Susie's eyes widen and she spies your new outfit. Oh, Larry, I had no idea you enjoyed cross-dressing, too. Mm. What does she mean, too? 
you know, nothing turns me on like men wearing... Wait, you know, nothing turns me like wearing men's underwear, she says. Oh, she likes cross-dressing too? What a freak. You were stunned. You had no idea. Days you head for the sofa. Mm-mm. Yes, yes, Susie, you sit down. Yes, yes, Susie says, do sit down. Mr. Laugh, make yourself comfortable. Larry, why would you mind if I call you Larry, wouldn't you? <coughs> no, Larry's fine, I suppose. Allow me to assure you're confidentially, Larry, Mrs. Cheatham. I'd hate for anyone to violate our privacy of my attorney-client relationships. Would you mind if I slip out of this hat, you ask her? Feel free to slip out of whatever you wish, she replies. You carefully move your gigantic feathered hat from your head and place it on your feet. You may have come here expecting a divorce, but it looks like you're going to get a lot more than a legal lease. Mm. So yeah, you found out about the attorney-client privilege. Fuck yeah, apparently we're going to get it on. For now, it's time to get it on with Susie. And now it's time for me to get more comfortable too, she says. Damn, those things just popped up, man. So, she says, do you like women in men's undergarments? Mm-mm-mm, you reply. Actually, I think I love you in mine. Enough of this legalistic foreplay, Larry. What do you say we spend the rest of our afternoon going through your briefs? <laughs> the feather sticks up in the air. Oh, yeah. Smack that ass. Oh, the fucking phone. Hey, Susie, you cry. What's that? Excuse me for just a moment. I have to have... I have seem to have a telephone call. May I put you on hold? She's putting me on hold? No, oh, dear. Where were we? You think to yourself, I've had lawyers do this to me before, but this is the first time. Oh. Oh no, says Susie. I suppose I could have Rogers hold my calls. That would be nice if some got holding around here. Or should I say held? Now, dear Susie, says you, where were we? No, no, I better write that down before that conversation slips my mind. Ugh. Would be nice if something started slipping around here. <laughs> There, all done. All right, let's go back to what we were doing now. Son of a bitch! Not again, cries Susie. I'm just so busy. Throw that phone through the fucking window. Now, dear, where were we? You've had just about all of this you can take. She's blue balling the hell out of me. Yeah, let's go write it down some more. There, all done. No, wait, I better fax that Roger a momento about that last conversation. Damn, woman. I like how she paper planes airplanes into the fax machine. <laughs> Looking like fucking Smurfs over here, my balls are, how blue they are. Son of a bitch, you cry. If you're this busy, why don't I come again later? And by that, you do mean figuratively. <laughs> Susie covers the phone with her hand and whispers to you, Sure, okay, good idea. Call me anytime. As soon as you prepare your divorce papers, you may pick them up from Roger. My secretary must get together soon. From what I can see of you, I'd love to try to squeeze you into my agenda. Mm -hmm. Wiggling out of her grasp, you grab your tall feathered hat from the dance floor and slip it and slip out of her office. The problem is Susie's docket is just too full. Poor Larry, you've experienced the agony of clientus interruptus. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm just trying to get my dick sucked here. <laughs> Ask about decree. No, I can I get my divorce papers, you ask? Jeez, Larry, give me a little time. Well, your portals will be ready as soon as I can prepare them. I want them now! Alright, that's, that's all you've had. One second. That's all I need. I'm glad you asked, Mr. Laffer. They're all set. Here you are. And Miss Cheatham told me 
to do it was a pleasure doing business with you. Mm. Better it was. He didn't check out my sweet ass either, did he? So I'm just gonna go a little bit further, I think, go to the gym, maybe do a little bit of workout after this. And call it quits on this episode. Mm. First, I gotta get my clothes back here. This has been one hell of a love story. A man out for Poon who will do anything, give out credit cards, give out free land, all in the name of love. I'm just going appears to be open. Okay. Open door, if I can spell it right. Get naked. Please, not here. <laughs> Man, look at that gut. Ah, oh, no, that feels like home. Speaking of that gut, let's go remove it real quick before we call it quits for the end of the night. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, this isn't as enjoyable as some of the other Larrys. I still love part six and seven. I don't remember being this dull, actually. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny, but I, I thought it was a little bit more funnier and had more jokes to it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe just got to get a little bit further into it. And it's amazing how much I can remember this, too. Fat City. It's kind of fucked up. You see nothing special. Look. Well, well, look at this. Somehow, Susie Cheatham's Fat City membership cards got mixed up with these papers. What a slug you are. Use card. You insert her card into the slot. Door opens automatically. Hmm, maze of lockers here. That's a lot of lockers. Holy shit. Open locker. Spinning the mechanism, you quickly spin the lock several turns to the right. Which three numbers do you wish to try? Uh, 9, 16, 12. You carefully turn it down. Okay, you lift the handle. Here you are, locker 69. You don't know the combination. Lockers are made of steel. Hmm. You're a fat city spot locker on the far world. Two doorways are there. Identical ones you use. Which one should you use? This is the one I'm supposed to use. Look at card. Hmm. I think this is again, unfortunately, a copy protection issue. Locker combo, what? I'm not sure what that means. Locker combo, page business, hmm. I have no idea, man. I'm not sure how we're supposed to find this out either. Might have to call it quits here. Locker combination. You don't know the locker. Look at card. 
Fat City membership good standing. Insert and wait for a click. Tackle locker area, which one should you use? Hmm. Trying to remember what combination I'm supposed to use here. Turn car. Oh, you have to turn it over. Well, look at this. Susie wrote her locker number plus some words on the back of the spa card. Closer examination reveals the words to be Chippendale. Which doctor's apprentice center in Fat City? Now, what would that mean? Why would Susie scribble these names on Newtown business cards? Oh, so okay. So we got there's probably a number on each one. Chippendales, which is doctor in Fat City? Locker combo. Okay, so the first one they said was. Save now. New save. Locker combo. Without this, uh, the guide. Oh, you already looked it up. Thirty-six twenty-four thirty-six. I think we just lost sound again. Twenty-four thirty-six. <laughs> that's too bad that's not it <clears throat> alright so I have to look at the back of the card again turn well let's restore the game because apparently it's fucking glitched I don't know why it keeps losing the sound okay why don't you take note don't you ever take notes it said Chippendales which Dr. Fat City? <laughs> so we got Chippendales. We got 12. Which Doctor? 12, 17. Okay, which doctor happens to be 7? That's 17 in Fat City. Fat City. 23. So, number is 121723. 121723. You did it! Yay! Thank you. Thank you, guidebook. There's the photo of scantily clad Tom Selleck, some spray deodorant, a set of women's sweats. Oh, great. Women's sweats. Use sweats. Get naked. Congratulations, you're wearing. <laughs> you move everything you are wearing and toss them like congratulations. You quickly turn to a family or entertainment software to an X rated game. Next thing you know, you'll probably begin to enjoy walking around. Then where will we be now? Put sweats on. Gosh, don't you look sweet in a pair of newly larger women's sweats? Alright, let's go work out. Get our new manly bodies in shape. My well, controlling this guy can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Use machine. Use the quest or the cursor keys until you work up a sweat. Oh yeah, 
do it. Pump it up. Pump the iron up. Let's go. Do it, you little girly boy. Get it. Congratulations, you've done 11 pull-up bars. Stop. Stop. In the name of law. So I have to probably do this 11 times on each four of these things to uh, get my new body. No pain, no gain. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, there goes that candy bar. Need to work off. Congratulations, you've done eleven pull-ups. Stop. Use the machine. I am a machine. You can do it. Yeah, I'm going to pump you up. Pump you up. Yeah. Hit the iron. Do it! Looking good. You've pumped over 1,100 pounds. Now we must do a leg crawl. Smile. This is supposed to be fun, you girly boy. Yeah. Come on, do it! Do it! You are nothing compared to me. You are a choir boy. A choir boy! Nice. Boy, oh boy, this extra stuff really works. Why, look, you feel like a new man! <laughs> Whoa, hey, what's happening? Holy shit, that only worked in real life. Whoa! Well, well, look at this incredible tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. The pulsating pectorials. There they are, the pulsating pectorials. Look at them pecs. The dancing titties. Man, you could learn to like this. <coughs> I bet the ladies will learn to like this too. Maybe you could enter one of those contests. Damn. <coughs> Oh snap! Oops, your new body has sprung a leak. Oh. Oh well. Who would want to be that pumped up anyway? At least you're no longer an overweight. Why just look at yourself? That guy of yours is gone. And look at those muscles. What a hunk. Sweet. So my gut is no longer there. Awesome. So let's go take a nice shower because we don't think we can leave here and smell like ass. Can't smell like ass. Uh, what was it? I said 12, 17, 23. Locker opens. Get naked. Yeah, yeah. Nate rated X. Grab a towel. You can't do that now. Get towel. You carefully tie the beach towel around your waist, leaving your leisure suit in the locker with your sweatsuit. Close locker. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you want to see my schlong. Go ahead and save the game real quick. Shower time. Get clean. You hang your towel just outside or uh, outside the shower where you'll be able to reach it easily upon an exit. Oh, it's disturbing. Turn on faucet. Okay. Use soap. Okay. You were so wise to bring that soap on a rope in the shower. You rub it on your body some longer than others. <laughs> Soon it's all gone. Just don't drop that soap, bro. Turn 
Turn faucet off. Oh yeah, we'll faucet this. Turn off. The hell you say? Oh fuck it, I don't care. You grab your towel from the hook by the door. Open locker again. Oh, I fucked it up. Typed in the wrong numbers here. Went too fast. Slow down. Slow your roll. I think I typed it in wrong again. That's 14. 17, not 14. the handle locker opens uh, let's see use the use towel good idea you careful to dry every inch of your pore to prevent chafing I don't want my balls to be chafing man use the deodorant oh yeah we'll deodorant this Probably didn't spell it right like an idiot. And I didn't. Okay. Oh my god. I feel like a schmuck. What the fuck? That can't be right, right? I feel like an idiot sometimes. I was just getting something to drink here real quick. <clears throat> All right. Damn it. Use. Psst, psst. You spray some deodorant and return the can to the locker. I don't I think if you don't do that, uh that uh you actually die or something because you die of smell or some stupid shit like that put on suit put on suit you can't reach your clothes from here you return your leisure suit once again ready to face the woman of the world and I think that is gonna call it quits for me on this episode I'm gonna leave here Go uh, to the next area and then call it quits from there. If I remember, how the hell do I get out of here now? Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm ready for these chicks to start jumping on these nuts because I'm on. I'm in shape now. I lost the gut. Got some muscles. Watch out, bitches! Here we come. Use card. Okay. You insert the card and the door opens immediately. Ooh, nice. This is where we're going to call it quits. New chick to bang. Nice. Good title. Good title. And that's going to call it quits for this episode of Love. A Larry 
a Larry tale. Leisure Suit Larry. Thank you guys for watching. We will return this game on other nights when uh, I have some free time to kill. And uh, hopefully we can finish this soon because I'd love to move on to part 6 and 7 here eventually. I recently just bought Leisure Suit Larry. Love Never or Wet Dreams Never Dry or something like that. One of the newest ones on the Switch. And I'm looking forward to playing that. I haven't played much of that at all. So yeah, we got a lot of Larrys coming here in the future uh, as soon as I can get to the time to stream and schedule. Thank you guys for watching Goobastic. Hope we'll uh, be live tomorrow night for some Turbo Tuesday. Not sure what we're going to be rocking if I do. But definitely wrap up Wednesday returns Wednesday for some Banjo-Kazooie. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Have a nice night.